Hello everyone. Accounting period lock app helps user to create an accounting periods for the selected dates and invoice journals. User can lock and unlock the accounting periods. When the accounting period is locked, user cannot save or confirm the invoice for the selected journals between the period lock date range. At first, let's create an accounting period. So for that, we need to get into the invoicing under accounting period log. We can create a new accounting period. And from here, you can see this is the one which I have already created. Let me get into that. And we can create a different accounting period with different journals with the different dates. And from here, user can see and created accounting period and add and multiple journals right away here. And we need to add the company and we need to give the from date and to date as well. So user can log the period accordingly by clicking on the log period option which is available here. And you can see when I have click on that particular option it will be directly change the state as logged. Okay. So after this is done let me create an uh, invoice. Let's create a new invoice from here. Right. I'm going to add a customer and going to add a uh, date. From here we need to add the product as well. If the user try to save the invoice for the selected journals in the logged accounting period date range, then the user will get a warning like this. Okay, like the same way if the user tries to confirm the invoice for the selected journals, it will raise a warning like this. So to rectify or give an access to the, this particular user, we need to get into the settings. Under user and companies, we can see the users. So from here, we need to enable accounting period log super user access. This is the one. So we need to give enable this particular access for the user. Okay. And then we need to confirm it. Save it. This access rights can create and confirm the invoice for the log journals and periods. Let me get into the invoice again and create a new invoice. Okay. Let me create a new invoice from here. Let's add a new that is invoice date from here. We need to add a product. So user can see and create an invoice for the log date. We can just click on the confirm option. You can see the invoice will be created. Okay. And user can see that with the access rights, they can confirm it. And we have the option to unlock the accounting period. So for that, let me get into here and let me get into the accounting period, which I have created. User can unlock the accounting period by just clicking on the unlock period option which is available. And also user can reset the accounting period to the draft state by clicking on the reset to draft start, uh, button on the accounting period. Okay. And we have the other more options like if we have chosen a date as a wrong date like previous month date for uh, in case. So if I try to save this one, this user will be get this notification that they may, they have chosen a wrong date, kindly update the date. Okay, like the same way. So now let me discard this one. You can see the date will be an uh, 1 to 30 this month. Okay, let me create a same journals with the same date again. Okay, like 1 to 30, right? So if I try to log this period, the user will get a raise of, it will raise a warning if the accounting period and uh, uh, period will be been already created. So it will shows and uh, pop up like this, that is uh, this warning like this. Okay. So in this way, we can make use of this module to log the period in accounting. Thank you for watching.